on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramine, ammonia and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on healthcare? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to big pharma. The fight against the new world order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine of your sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products and get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. The Alex Jones Show, because there is a war on for your mind. We're going to look at taser deaths, taser injuries. And how they're being used now, if you even ask the police uh, to see the radar gun. And the case of a Central Texas uh, boy who, on video, was doing nothing, standing there watching a fight. And the police ran up and tasered him in the head. He fell over and hit his head. He's been in a coma. And the police are now saying in Bastrop, uh, they are now saying outside Austin, and that's coming up in the next hour, get this. That, oh, uh, he might have already had a brain problem before. Just like the Kelly Thomas case. Oh, he, he must have had a heart problem before. It's not that we beat his head in and beat his you know, windpipe in. Uh, it's just so crazy that, that they've militarized the police to this point. And, uh, and a lot of cops try to defend it. It's going to give all the police a bad name. I mean, nobody wants militarized police. We want peace officers that if a bad guy really tries to do something, you got tough guys that deal with them. But not just any excuse to attack the public because you want to carry out some violence and it's so much fun. I, I mean, back when I was a teenager, I liked people starting fights with me and I like to get in fights. But now, even though I have that side of me, I'm not out looking for fights just because once a fight starts, I like beating the hell out of people. I'm not a sadist. 
It's just that somebody starts a fight with me, once it starts, I, I mean, I enjoy it. I mean, I'm sorry. That's a normal, natural human side of people. I mean, I enjoy somebody taking a swing at me and then punching them upside the head and watching them hit the ground. And, 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 and I can't help that. That's a normal instinct, but it's not to just walk up to some kid and taser him in the back or some lady says, I want to see the radar gun. It's totally cowardly. So that's coming up. You want police that have a warrior instinct, but to actually fight bad guys, not turn it loose on kids and families and warrantless SWAT raids over drugs in the middle of the night when the government ships in almost all the drugs as an excuse to take over the society, and they keep drugs illegal to keep the price high, just like Jesse Ventura talked about with us a couple days ago on Monday. And we've got that video we're going to play later. Steve Watson wrote about it yesterday. The Washington Post is now covering it as well and did a video report on it. Cop SWAT team innocent family destroy evidence. There's another video up on Infowars.com of British police grabbing a citizen journalist and framing them, not knowing the camera's still rolling, saying they're going to frame them. It's like that Luke Radowski video where, this, where the, the literal goons, like out of Goodfellas for Larry Silverstein, come up and say, shut up, no free speech, we don't care if you're permitted, and then order the cops to go, that camera is the gun. Hey, that the camera is a gun. Uh, throw him in the hole 30 days. Doesn't matter, you're not a terrorist. We're going to frame you. The cops go, yeah, we'll frame him. T they take the camera. and then I mean, that's all on video in my film. Truth Rising, they frame him on video and say, we're going to frame you. And they go, look, hey, we got a gun right here. Sounds like a Looney Tunes voice, like Mel Blanc or something. You know the gangsters talk in Looney Tunes commercials or, or old Looney Tunes? Hey, boss, hey, look at him over here. What are we going to do to him? <laughs> Yeah, we got badges and guns now. What's she going to do about it? So that's coming up. Now, shifting gears out of that, ladies and gentlemen, this is really huge news. This is the U.N. takeover of 90% of America, the rural areas. And this is what it's been set up to do. This is what the United Nations has done in third world countries, in Burma, uh, in Central Africa, in Latin America, in just all over the world. They come in and, and it's part of a receivership. And, and, and this is going to tie into this is going to tie into these articles that I have today. Greece starts putting islands up for sale to save economy. Remember that from th three years ago in 2010? Greece starts putting island land up for sale to save economy. Of course, it didn't save it, made it worse. And it was giving the land to the very hedge fund managers that had set Greece up. And that ties into this New Economist article out today, the $9 trillion sale. Government should launch a new wave of privatizations, this time centered on property. That's right. Federal and state lands to be given to the very central banks that ran the whole scam. This is what they've done in third world countries. They're now going to do it to us. It's already begun in Europe. But to do that, you've got to go back to the 1993 maps that shot down the full adoption of Agenda 21 Rio de Janeiro Treaty that George Herbert Walker Bush had tried to get when he left office in 2000 uh, in 1993. And Dr. Michael Kaufman and others got the UN maps and uh, blew them up to be able to show Congress and C-SPAN. And anybody can simply search Dr. Michael Kaufman biodiversity maps, or you can simply uh, search UN Agenda 21 U.S. maps, and you'll see half of the United States. It's it's big U.S. map showing half the country in red where you have the biosphere reserves. And showing how people won't be allowed into those areas. That's why they're kicking people off the BLM. Yes, you found it. That's it, Nico. It's the red map right there in front of you. That's why all of this is going on. And if you click on the larger maps, you can see it. Uh, you can see their simulated biosphere reserves from 1993. All the areas in red, no human use. Yellow, highly controlled use. Green, Human use, 
They've got other colors for uh, normal use, military use, Indian reservations. But you can see half the country, roughly, in red, no human activity, no one even allowed into it. This is the rewilding. But they have to do this to get the land off use so they can then turn around and give it to the globalist for mining, timber, whatever they want. But to do that, they've got to pass laws, regulations to shut down family farms, to shut down beef production, to only allow big pharma-controlled, big agra to operate. That's what all these laws and all these regulations are for. That's the program. And we had an article about it back in 2011, Executive Order 13,575, Theft of Rural and Agricultural Lands for UN Agenda 21. And it goes through the whole executive order, the trade representatives, all the documents, all their plans, and who runs it under the Department of Homeland Security and the Department of Defense. And under that, under State Defense and Homeland, then Treasury, Transportation, Health and Human Services, U.S. Trade Representatives, U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, National Aeronautics and Space Administration, that's for spying on them with the satellites and drones, and the U.S. Agency for International Development. Now, under this, they say, and I cover this in my film from 1997, America Destroyed by Design. Go watch that film. It's free online, or you can buy the DVD, InfoWarsStore.com, and support us and have a hard copy. <clears throat> but the point is, they said then that they had to get the land off use for a few decades, and then they would take it as receivership on the national debt, which isn't even really our debt. They've signed us on to the trillions of derivatives that aren't our debt. So there's that article. Uh, here is uh, some of the other articles that tie into this. Center for Rural Affairs, White House Rural Council, Role and Impact. The reason I'm going over this is there's a big new development that I'm going to cover here in just one moment. Uh, and then you can read the executive order at whitehouse.gov itself uh, and see that uh, for yourself, how the Pentagon is going to set up these spy hubs, these threat fusion centers, over the rural affairs to spy on everyone, to infiltrate local media, as the Pentagon said they do four months ago, to bring in federal funds to buy off the local leadership and to make people think it's a good deal to waive their rights to sign on to the premises ID, the animal ID, all of it. Here's the blaze from 2011, breaking it down. Does new White House rural council equal UN Agenda 21? Absolutely. Now, I have covered that. Here is the new article out of the hill today obama launches climate hubs to help farmers and communities and of course there's a disgusting video of him announcing this as well the obama administration will announce the establishment of regional hubs all that farm money folks focused on mitigating climate change on wednesday the hubs are the first ever regional centers. This is why they're going to surveil you, the green police, for your own good. With the drones, with the satellites, with NASA, the hubs are the first ever regional centers that will focus solely on risk adaptation and climate change solutions at seven locations across the country, then setting up sub offices through the 14 other federal agencies headed up by the Department of Defense. Dubbed climate hubs, the new centers will address issues like increasing risk of fires, because they won't let you cut areas to protect with fire breaks, invasive pests, devastating floods, crippling droughts. The officials said the centers will aim to tr translate science and research into usable information for farmers, ranchers, and forest landowners to adjust their resource management. Oh, doesn't that sound nice? This is literally the civilian force just as big and just as strong as our military in fact can you it's only 14 seconds can you guys pull up obama calls for domestic security force we need a civilian force just as big just as strong as our military and this is how they're rolling it out the threat fusion centers on record spy on the tea party gun owners integrate all the illegal nsa data grab all the open uh, intelligence and integrate it in and now they're rolling out the rural affairs offices with Homeland Security, armored vehicles, you name it, spy grids. They tell local farmers, oh, come to a meeting to fight terror. And you get to the two-day me uh, meetings at the hotels and they go, they spend 15 minutes on an Al-Qaeda video showing them doing training drills. And they switch to, is your neighbor growing marijuana? Do they spank their kids? Are they cutting trees they're unauthorized to? Did you know you can get environmental money for spying on your neighbors? I mean, we've sent people to these. We've covered these. We've gone over this. 